So, yeah, I'm Philip Suzalek, um, Scientific Director at the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, uh, Professor for Computer Graphics at Saarland University, and one of the initiators of the CLARE Initiative. Um, in AI, we're working on something that's called digital reality, um, which is this idea of modeling the world, uh, simulating it, and then um, using this to, to train and also, in particular, to validate AI systems. So we're in this situation where AI has been a very fragmented area in Europe, which is very different, like right, Google brings things together, Baidu and the Chinese government on, on the other side, while Europe it was all small groups all over the place, uh, maybe with some exception like the FDI. But uh, we felt like if we really want to move uh, things and if we want to really be competitive, uh, we need to bring the community together. Right? And even a big organization as the FKI, we're the largest research center in AI worldwide, we can't do this alone. And this is why we started CLARE, uh, which is the Confederation of Labs of AI Research in Europe. Um, we have 260 or more by now labs, uh, almost 3,000 individual supporters. So there is a really a momentum building. Um, and and w under this big umbrella, we are arguing for um, this network of, of labs, but centers of excellence, and we're arguing for something that we sometimes call the CERN for AI, really the place in Europe, because we need a trademark. Everyone knows CERN, but that's physics, so we need something equivalent on the European agenda. Right? And then in that context, in this overall context of, of CLARE, right, obviously one big element is research. Right? And this is why we started with some colleagues who started the, the Human AI uh, initiative, um, which is this flagship, which was supposed to go over 10 years. And we're now driving this forward as really the big research initiative uh, in the clear context in Europe to really get uh, major, ma create major breakthroughs with all of the top AI people we have in Europe and make sure they don't go to the US, but they actually stay here in Europe and maybe say we can even call, give, uh, bring them back to Europe. My specific uh, project that I'm driving is this digital reality that I mentioned. Uh, it's this idea of modeling the world. Uh, now we do this specifically for autonomous driving mostly right now. So we're modeling how are pedestrians moving, um, right, as humans we, never think about whether a pedestrian will cross the street or stop at the, at the edge. We know, right? We see the subtle changes. So can we, can we model that so we can create artificial synthetic scenes that we can use to train, that, that incorporate these fine subtle changes in human motion um, to, so we can train this to an AI system. And we can, we can use these models also to create test cases to make sure that a future autonomous cars is actually detecting this and, and will not kill a pedestrian. So it's really the validation of AI systems through modeling the environment, using this for training and, and many other purposes. That's a large scale thing. It actually applies to any AI system that where you can model the environment it interacts with, but autonomous driving is really a key element that we're putting, that we're looking at right now.